to open up with another touchdown. Yeah, uh, I think that just goes to you know what our offense is about right now. Uh, we've done a great job through the offseason kind of building that chemistry. Uh, Kellen did a great job calling the plays day one, and then uh, obviously Dak's the leader of the team. He's always keeping us, uh, you know, in neutral and always uh, working ahead. So he did a great job. He put it, in the, you know, where I could catch it, and uh, you know, just made a play. It looked like it almost you, came, you broke open so quickly. He wasn't even ready. It looked like. Yeah, like yeah, and I know things happen back there, but you know, uh, we practice so many times. It, should, it doesn't have to be a perfect ball. I know he's going to put it out there where we've got an opportunity, and that's all you can ask for. <laughs> Maybe not that that open, but uh, you know I know things happen, and like I said, he just put it out there, and we made a play together. We can get on you for taking that play. Away uh, you, you know, he told me he said, "Hey, never, never uh, be sorry for a freebie." So, uh, <laughs> you know, like I said, I can't say enough good things about Witt or Dak. They do a great job leading the team. Zach started telling us how much he's on you. I think it was 2018 offseason. Y'all were connecting on some plays in OTAs. How would you describe your Yeah, uh, you know, I don't think you can ever build enough chemistry, and we've definitely done a good job. Uh, we kind of have some stuff to work on from today. I'm going to go talk to him and say, hey, man, just keep keep throwing it to me. I'm going to get there for you. So uh, just to have that relationship between each other, I think it's big time for us going forward. Did you know when you were scoring that touchdown that that was one of Blake's favorites? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We talk about that play quite a bit, uh, you know, and uh, it didn't have to be me. If it would have been him, I would have been equally as excited, especially on his next touchdown when he got in the end zone. I was over there going crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I just think that uh, shows kind of the preparation that he puts into his game. Uh, he does a great job week in and week out preparing and making sure that we all have confidence in ourselves to go out there and play on Sunday. So uh, a true leader, a true leader of the team. Can you talk about the offensive line's performance as well and how they oh, gave yeah. them that clean pocket? They do a remarkable job. Uh, hardest workers on the team. Uh, Coach Colombo does a good job making sure they're ready, and Travis does a great job leading those guys. They're always on top of their A game, and uh, they do a good job for us and creating those big plays for us. They don't get enough credit. You know, from the outside in, we talk about you guys being a run first team, but but those guys' ability to pass protect kind of opened the way. Yeah, for just did, right? be able to do both jobs. They uh, and give, don't get me wrong, they want to be in there and run and get the run game going. So uh, it's definitely a point of emphasis for us right now, especially on Wednesday, to to get going and get the fits right so we can be successful on Sundays. Blake, a former Oklahoma State guy, I just want to get your reaction on the passing of mm -hmm. What he meant to that university and everything he did from just an athletic standpoint. Yeah, uh, it's a tough day. I just saw it on a uh, on Twitter. Um, you know, that guy, from the day I stepped foot on Oklahoma State, I was uh, thankful for what he did. Uh, the impact that he had on Oklahoma State will never be forgotten. Obviously, our stadium is named after him. And, uh, you know, just the contribution that he did. Uh, we wouldn't be where we are without him there. Uh, it's a tough day for all the pokes out there. But, uh, you know, uh, he, he definitely means a lot to us. He won't be forgotten. Was there anything in particular that his philanthropic efforts did for you guys that, that you remember in particular? Yeah, I really think uh, it just inspired us, you know, to have that belief in us that he wanted us to be successful and he was willing to do whatever it took to be successful there for us. So, uh, like I said, can't be uh, thankful enough for that guy.